Okay, mom, what do you think about this packaging? No, no. What? you guys it's Aiden welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here make sure you guys click that subscribe button because we make beauty videos and I don't want you guys to miss out as you guys can see from the title down below today we are going to be doing a first impression slash review of the new well kind of new Charlotte Tilbury magic loose powder so this product is Charlotte's genius under eye and face magic powder it costs $58 Canadian it comes in three colors and you guys get 0.45 ounces or 12.8 grams each in each product so this product is a loose setting powder that blurs imperfections veil shadow and visibly boosts radiance it's a light diffusing loose powder that helps to mattify and smooth the appearance of the skin hold on water break so this is what the powder actually looks like again it looks stunning so when you open up the powder there's actually two compartments only one side has the holes to actually dispense the product the other side has no holes. I wonder why they did that. I don't actually know why. Can someone tell me why? Do they know? I don't know. Like, is it to like blot off excess product? I don't know. First thing I've noticed is the smell. It smells so bad. It kind of smells like flour, like actual like baking flour, like tapioca starch or like corn starch or whatever. Okay, so I just basically took off the sticker, put back on the lid, tipped it over upside down and gave it a little shake, which I usually do with my other loose powders. I give it a shake and all of a sudden, this happened. It is very delicate. I assume the shaker was just to dispense a little bit here on the cap and then you're good to go. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but we'll see. Okay, so I just did my makeup and I didn't set anything. So this is the perfect time to do it because I was looking a little bit shiny in that intro. So forgive me. Okay, so first impression, it looks really nice and smooth in person. I don't know how it's translating on camera, but okay, so this is what the powder looks like in natural light. I'm just standing right in front of my window currently. The powder looks really nice and smooth in person. I know it kind of looks gray and a little bit light on camera, but in person it literally blends in perfectly with my skin tone and you can't really see a lot what you're seeing on camera right now but we'll see we'll do some check-ins throughout the day I'm gonna be filming another video so we'll see how I look after that video we'll see how I look like tonight we'll see if we have any shine we'll see if we have to do any touch-ups hey you guys so I have just been filming other videos and just running around doing errands I just had dinner so this powder has been sitting on my face for about four to five hours now also I don't know if you guys can see the powder has definitely settled down a little bit I kind of just like smacked it on my hand for a little bit to kind of get the powder back into the hole but I am just going to touch up my face with the powder on the lid I'm not gonna pour anything else on I'm not gonna do anything else I'm just gonna do a little bit of a touch-up which I naturally do anyways. Actually a really nice touch up powder. As I can see in my mirror right now, it didn't cake or clump any of my existing makeup already. It just kind of soaked up all the shininess, but it still keeps my face really, really nice and radiant. So it is definitely a lot better than the first, first impression. I'm gonna continue filming and I'm going to see you guys in my next check-in. Mommy, what do you think about my makeup? The smooth? Smooth. What do you think about this packaging? What do you think about the product? No more. What? Hey you guys, so I just finished filming my video and I haven't touched up my face since the last check-in. So here it is after two hours since we last seen each other. It is still very, very nice and matte, but it's still radiant. It's not cakey. It's not getting into my lines at all in my eyes and if I smile really hard or crinkle my face like nothing is moving so it's doing a really really nice job with that as a setting powder I think it does an okay job like touching my face right now it still feels like a little bit tacky if you guys have overly oily skin I don't think this product is for you I think this powder will do really well for those of you guys who have dry skin to combination skin if I was to give this powder a rating out of five I would have to say I would give it a three out out of five packaging wise I think it's super pretty it's old Hollywood it's very glamorous very luxy looking but I think for me the sifter loses some points 
it didn't do the best at impressing me there was powder everywhere it was smelling kind of funky the powder only comes in three shades however it does a really good job at setting your makeup without taking away the natural glow of your face if you guys tried this product let me know do you guys love it do you guys hate it are you guys like me and you guys are kind of like eh, it's like whatever let me know because i want to hear from you guys if you guys like this type of video make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button because we make beauty videos all the time and if you guys want to connect with me more make sure you guys follow me on my instagram at aiden's choice and i'll see you guys in my next video bye